Hello and welcome to your weekly Angel Oracle Card reading for the week of July 7th, 2014. Now I realize it's been a while since I've posted one and this is a kind of on the fly, uh, so it will look a little different than it normally does, but the message this week, this week came out as strong as ever and it's very relevant. Um, I myself feel, my, feel like I'm going through a resurgence of sorts right now. Uh, after coming off a, a very hectic and busy spring, I'm settling back into my service. And um, so I want to get into this week's message, and it's, it's very powerful. And our main message is brought from Archangel Azrael, or better known as Angel of Death. But death never really means death in Tarot, it's usually a rebirth, a new beginning. And it's ironic because everyone I've been around recently has been experiencing rebirths and new beginnings and resurgences of, of returning to service. So I find this reading very um, meaningful for me personally, and I'm sure all who watch this video will find it meaningful for them as well. So let's get into it. So our first card, which represents the first half of the work week, is Hello from Heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. The first thing when I saw this card, the very first thing that I was a little even overwhelming in, in a sense, was just the, the outpouring of support we have on the other side. Um, you can feel weighed down and burdened down and on the brink of tears, but if you find your stillness, you really can feel the support of your loved ones, your own personal angelic collectives, your guides, your guardians, and, and everyone involved uh, in, this, in the vast support system that comes in from the other side, from what we would call heaven. It, it's just amazing and powerful, and nothing will bring you to tears more, uh, even more so than the, the strife and stresses you have, than the realization that you do have such a, a vast support system. So tune into that. Uh, find time, even if you don't meditate, find time just for a few minutes just to sit in quiet and find your stillness. You'll feel familiarity. You'll sit and you'll just feel a warm, loving energy around you. And, and you will just be of knowing that that is your, your loved ones and, and those that are familiar to you just really supporting you from the other side. So listen for those hellos from heaven. They're very important to remind us of our own divinity and how supported we are and how loved we are on the other side. So as we move through the end, the second half of the work week, here we see Counselor. Once again, Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Most of us out there, especially if you're watching these videos and you've gone to seminars, we are awakening to the reality that we are all healers and we all have a divine purpose on this planet. Those who are viewing this right now may resonate strongly with counsel, otherwise you would not have been directed to watch this video. A counselor serves so many wonderful, wonderful purposes. Half of the time that we serve as a counselor, we don't even realize we are counseling. Just, you know, a smile across the restaurant at a kid who was just disciplined by his parents really change that whole kid's experience. The, the smallest, most minute things that we don't even think of in some way can impact those around us profoundly. Being a counselor is something that should never be taken lightly, but it's something that should come naturally. It doesn't mean to go into business as a counselor or seek uh, you know, training on how to be a professional counselor. The point of this card is, as you are, are stumbling through this week and maybe you started out with some stress and all, you've now come into resonance with you have support from heaven. As you find your, your, your happy place, it allows your natural counselor, your divine innate counselor to shine through and really help those around you, maybe without even realizing that, that you're helping them. It's a huge part of our existence. Every, every little token, every helping hand, every pat on the back, we're all being counselors. Moving through this year, we are now halfway through our year of reinvention, our year of rebirth, as, as it was dictated by Metatron and Michael in my, uh, earlier this year in my channeling. People are waking up, 
not everyone knows what to do with this energy and it takes people like us to sit down assure them that everything's going to be okay and just be there sometimes it's just listening it's not even about doing in that we are divine counselors and that's really what you have to maybe focus on or, or let resonate with you a kind of taking that information that you are as you always have been a very important divine being who is here in service with that realization your natural counselor will just blossom you don't have to do a thing it's already happening so that's through the second part of the week so now we're going to move into your weekend and we see my brother Archangel Michael those of you who watch these videos know I resonate highly with Michael uh, I, I've been it's been verified through many uh, angelic channels and many people in my spiritual network that they do in fact uh, see him or with me and around me I have a very strong um, energetic connection to Michael and I'm always happy to see him come up and this couldn't be more appropriate we see Azriel walking us through the week of rebirth settling back in refocusing letting our natural counselor bloom accept and realize the support we have from the other side and now to really put that nail in the coffin here is Michael coming in telling us to remember who we are you are powerful loving and creative child of God and you are very loved the resonance of that statement I really don't believe in my heart we ever could truly understand the magnitude of it we are so loved from the other side the archangels the angels the entire realm of light beings and star beings it's all about us we are here to have this experience they are supporting us always but we always have to remember that we are part of the divine and in that we are divine creatures and really embrace that concept without getting egotistical about it you know ego is important to our human existence but should have little to do with our statements of what we are and who we are we should not be identified by well, I do this for a living, or I make this much money, or I, I, I. It should be about who we are on a soul level. And Michael wants to remind us of that. And um, many of you may be familiar with Pinesh Desai. And one of his, when he tells his story and introduces himself, one of my favorite things that he says is, we met a very long time ago, and you asked me to come now onto this planet and remind you of who you are and that's such a great great message because we've all heard it we've all been to the workshops but this time this time specifically in the year of rebirth it's really important that we embrace that we remember who we are on a divine level and that's really I feel what this whole message has been about we have Azriel the angel of rebirth coming through and then Michael putting the, the final touches on it with urging us to remember who we are it's just an incredible loving upbeat positive outlook through this week and on through the rest of this year and with that I will bid you farewell once again I will attempt to get back on track with these readings uh, whether it be single cards throughout the week or the weekly oracle card readings um, I am making a conscious effort to refocus on service and um, you know I, I hope that everyone out there who's stuck around and, and hung out with me this long who've enjoyed the videos will continue to, to show their support leave comments share your experiences feedback you know what your week held after you after you watched the reading and how it fit for you um, you know let, let's make it more of a community so everyone can get share their inspirational stories it's not just about me doing these readings it's about all of you uh, enjoying them and expressing them and really sharing how they've impacted you in interest of being in service uh, I am starting to give Reiki lessons 
here in my local South Jersey studio. So if any of my local viewers are interested in learning Reiki or taking any of my workshops, which I will be posting on uh, either advancedangelcards.com or the Angelic Collective, I'm not sure, I have to see which one I have it set up for. Uh, we will be hosting classes in our South Jersey studio. And anyone interested, all you have to do is reach out and contact us uh, or go to the website. And uh, once I get them all posted, you'll be able to see what's available, what's coming up when. Also, obviously, on uh, facebook.com forward slash advanced angel cards, that is the most current up to date information. And as I get back to keeping that updated, all the classes, workshops, seminars, they'll all be posted up there. And I would like to thank all the viewers who follow this, this video blog, watch the readings, give input, and those who even don't. Uh, the input isn't, isn't a factor here. I just really want to express my gratitude for all of my followers who come watch these videos each week, hopefully take something away from it, and um, just accept the message that I'm being given and then translating to you. Because it's not my message, it's what the angels are sending through me. Thank you again and have a wonderful week.